Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish and I would like to invite you to join us today as we take you on a musical visit to Bern, Switzerland. Bern is the capital of this prosperous and sophisticated country and is a city of culture, art, history, and music. In Bern, we find the towering Bern Cathedral from which our music comes today. Thank you for joining us. Just as Rome wasn't built in a day, Europe's great churches weren't constructed overnight. The Munster of St. Vincent in Bern is a good example. It was begun in 1421, but the main body of the church wasn't completed until 1573, and the tower was added more than three centuries later, in 1893 to be precise. During the time of its construction, the Reformation took place and what began as a Catholic cathedral ended up as a Protestant Munster or cathedral.
Fern, Switzerland was founded in 1191 by Berchtold V. Legend has it that the Duke of Zeringen went hunting and named the new town after his first kill, a bear. Burns coat of arms sporting a bear first appeared in 1224, and bears have been kept in Burns since 1513. To this day, bears remain the official symbol of Bern. All that being said, you don't want to miss the bear pits in a visit to Bern. You will be entertained by the bears, and they in turn will probably be entertained by you. It's especially impressive with its broad medieval streets, perfectly preserved arcades and covered walkways, fountains, and massive towers from the Middle Ages. We were fortunate to visit Bern in both summer and winter, enjoying the beauty and atmosphere of both seasons. One of the main attractions in Bern is the massive clock tower in the center of the old town. This old tower is as much the symbol of Bern as the bear. The tower dates back to 1218, but its outer appearance was somewhat embellished in the 1700s. You don't want to miss the hourly display of mechanical figures, which appear four minutes before every hour. They include a crowing cock, a Cronus with his hourglass, a dancing jester, and of course, a parade of bears. Thank you. 
In the early 16th century, the Reformation began in Germany and spread across Europe. It was sparked in Switzerland by Ulrich Zwingli, a lay priest in Zurich in 1528. Bern enthusiastically accepted the Reformation and became part of the new Protestantism. Ulrich Zwingli, the leader of the Reformation in Switzerland, preached often in the Cathedral of Bern. One of the most beautiful places to visit in Bern, Switzerland, is the Rosengarten or Rose Garden. There are over 130 varieties of roses and over 3,700 plants and blossoms.
Unfortunately, in Switzerland, the Reformation was not always good to the pipe organs. In many of the churches, the organs were taken out and the pipes were melted down into spoons, forks, and knives. However, here in Bern on June 5, 1726, in a landmark decision, the Bern Münster Council reversed the 200-year ban on organ music and commissioned a magnificent new pipe organ to be built for the sanctuary. Imagine what joy the organ sound must have brought to the community who heard the organ once again for the first time in 200 years. On Christmas Day of 1999, they heard the inauguration of a newly restored and expanded organ here in the Bern Munster. The remarkable price tag for this giant restoration project amounted to four million Swiss francs or over three million U.S. dollars. Voiced in the German late romantic style, the majestic sound of the organ here in the Bern Munster penetrates the Gothic stone walls and reaches the cobblestone streets and market squares beyond. Outside the cathedral, Kabul Munsterplatz features the imposing Baroque facades of, among other buildings, the Chapter House and a 1790 fountain showing Moses, fired with the zeal of the Reformation, pointing to the second commandment, the one which forbids idolatry. It is worth stopping at the central portal of the cathedral before heading inside. This spectacular depiction of the Last Judgment is one of the only remaining unified examples of such late Gothic sculpture in Europe.
name is Diane Bish, and I would like to thank you for joining us today as we have brought you a program of great churches and organs of Switzerland. We thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. To purchase this or any of our over 500 DVDs and CDs, please call 1-800-933-4844 or check our website at www.thejoyofmusic.org.